Which DEA form is required to order Schedule II controlled substances? A. Form 222. B. Form 41. C. Form 106. D. Form 510. Answer, A. DEA Form 222 is specifically used to order and transfer Schedule II controlled drugs. A patient is prescribed amoxicillin 250 mg three times daily for 10 days. How many capsules will be dispensed? A. 20. B. 30. C. 40. D. 60. Answer, C. 250 mg times 3 times daily times 10 days equals 30 doses, each dose equals 1 capsule 30 capsules. Which route of administration bypasses the digestive system? A. Oral. B. Intravenous. C. Sublingual. D. Both B and C. Answer, D. Both four and sublingual routes avoid first-pass metabolism through the liver. Which medication requires refrigeration in the pharmacy? A. Amoxicillin suspension, reconstituted. B. Atorvastatin tablets. C. Ibuprofen liquid. D. Warfarin tablets. Answer, A. Reconstituted amoxicillin suspension must be stored in a refrigerator for stability. What is the primary role of the NDC number on medication packaging? A. Identifies drug manufacturer, product, and package size. B. Serves as expiration date. C. Acts as DEA registration number. D. Replaces lot number. Answer, A. The NDC uniquely identifies the manufacturer, drug, and packaging. Which of the following is an anticoagulant? A. Warfarin. B. Metformin. C. Omeprazole. D. Amlodipine. Answer, A. Warfarin prevents blood clot formation by inhibiting vitamin K-dependent clotting factors. The policy of tall man lettering is used to a. Make drug names more marketable. B. Reduce lookalike slash soundalike medication errors. C. Shorten drug labeling. D. Indicate controlled substances. Answer, B. Tall man lettering highlights differences in similar drug names to avoid dispensing errors. Which reference is used for drug pricing and product identification? A. Red Book. B. Orange Book. C. USPNF. D. Remington. Answer, A. The Red Book provides drug pricing information and product availability. A patient is prescribed furosemide 40 mg once daily. The pharmacy has 20 mg tablets. How many tablets per dose? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. Answer, B. 40 mg divided by 20 mg equals 2 tablets per dose. Which law created the FDA and requires drugs to be safe for use? A. Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act of 1938. B. Controlled Substances Act of 1970. C. Durham-Humphrey Amendment of 1951. D. Kefauver-Harris Amendment of 1962. Answer, A. The FDCA of 1938 established the FDA and required drugs to be proven safe. What is the maximum number of refills allowed for Schedule 3 and 4 medications? A. 2. B. 3. C. 5. D. 6. Answer, C. Schedule 3 and 4 prescriptions can be refilled up to 5 times within 6 months. If 500 milliliters of a 10% solution is diluted to 1,000 milliliters, what is the new concentration? A. 2.5%. B. 5%. C. 7.5%. D. 10%. Answer, B. Doubling the volume has the concentration 10% divided by 2 equals 5%. Which drug class does lisinopril belong to? A. ACE inhibitor. B. Beta blocker. C. Calcium channel blocker. D. Diuretic. Answer, A. 
Lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor used for hypertension and heart failure. What is the meaning of PRN on a prescription? A. Take daily. B. As needed. C. At bedtime. D. Before meals. Answer, B. PRN means the medication should be taken only when necessary. Which medication must be dispensed in its original container? A. Nitroglycerin sublingual tablets. B. Ibuprofen tablets. C. Metformin tablets. D. Simvastatin tablets. Answer, A. Nitroglycerin is unstable and must remain in its original glass container. A patient brings in a prescription for oxycodone. The technician should a. File it in the regular prescription bin. b. Treat it as a controlled substance requiring special handling. c. Leave it unattended on the counter. d. Refuse to fill it. Answer, b. Oxycodone is a Schedule II controlled drug, requiring special handling. Which organization accredits pharmacy technician training programs? a. ASHP b. DA. C. FDA. D. CDC. Answer, A. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists, ASHP, accredits pharmacy tech programs. A client requires 150 mg of a drug available in 50 mg per 5 ml solution. How many ml are needed? A. 10 ml. B. 15 ml. C. 20 milliliters. D. 25 milliliters. Answer, B. The drug concentration is 50 milligrams in 5 milliliters, which means the solution contains 10 milligrams per 1 milliliter. To determine how many milliliters are required for a 150 milligrams dose, divide the desired dose, 150 milligrams, by the concentration, 10 milligrams per ml. This calculation gives 150 divided by 10 is equal to 15 ml. Therefore, the client needs 15 milliliters of the solution, making option B the correct answer. Which law established two categories of drugs, prescription and over-the-counter? A. Durham-Humphrey Amendment of 1951 B. FDCA of 1938 C. Controlled Substances Act of 1970 D. OBRA of 1990. Answer, A. The Durham-Humphrey Amendment created the categories of prescription and OTC drugs. When compounding sterile products, the clean room must maintain what minimum ISO class? A. ISO class 5. B. ISO class 7. C. ISO class 8. D. ISO class 9. Answer, A. Sterile compounding requires ISO class 5 environment inside the hood. A patient asks if they can take their antibiotic with milk. What should the pharmacy technician do? A. Tell the patient it is safe with any beverage. B. Recommend water and notify the pharmacist. C. Approve milk since it reduces stomach upset. D. Suggest juice instead of water. Answer, B. Some antibiotics, e.g., tetracyclines, fluoroquinolones, interact with calcium in milk, reducing absorption. The technician must avoid counseling and instead alert the pharmacist to clarify proper administration. A prescription states, dispense as written, da. What does this mean for the technician? A. A generic substitution must be provided. B. The brand name drug must be dispensed. C. Insurance can decide if substitution is allowed. D. Patient may choose generic if cheaper. Answer, B. Dispense as written requires the exact brand name medication, with no substitution, regardless of cost or insurance preference. Which medication is considered a Schedule IV controlled substance? A. Hydrocodone. B. Lorazepam. C. Oxycodone. D. Fentanyl. Answer, B. Lorazepam, benzodiazepine, is Schedule 4. Hydrocodone and oxycodone are Schedule 2, fentanyl is also Schedule 2 due to high abuse potential. A pharmacy technician is filling a liquid antibiotic that requires reconstitution. 
which step must be verified before handing it to the patient? A. Expiration date is extended to 12 months. B. Shakewell labels are attached. C. Powder form is dispensed without water. D. Childproof cap is removed. Answer, B. Reconstituted antibiotics often require shaking before each dose. Proper auxiliary labeling ensures correct patient use. Which is the correct action if a technician notices a medication recall notice? A. Remove the affected drug from stock. B. Ignore it if not expired. C. Dispense until stock is gone. D. Inform patients not to worry. Answer, A. Recalled medications must be immediately removed and quarantined to prevent accidental dispensing. A patient's insurance rejects a claim for early refill. What should the technician do? A. Change the day's supply to bypass rejection. B. Notify the pharmacist for review. C. Dispense without billing insurance. D. Override the claim without permission. Answer, B. Insurance rejections must be reviewed by the pharmacist. Technicians cannot override or alter claims without approval. Which needle gauge is most appropriate for insulin administration? A. 18 gauge. B. 21 gauge. C. 25 gauge. D. 31 gauge. Answer, D. Insulin injections use very fine, small gauge needles like 31 gauge to minimize discomfort for subcutaneous injections. What is the meaning of the pharmacy abbreviation TID? A. Twice daily. B. Three times daily. C. Four times daily. D. Once at bedtime. Answer, B. TID stands for tur and die, meaning three times daily. A technician receives a prescription for lisinopril but accidentally selects levothyroxine. What type of error is this? A. Transcription error. B. Dispensing error. C. Administration error. D. Prescribing error. Answer, B. Wrong drug selection during filling is a dispensing error. What is the maximum number of refills allowed for Schedule 3 medications? A. No refills. B. Three refills within six months. C. Five refills within six months. D. Unlimited refills. Answer, C. Schedule 3 to 4 controlled substances allow up to five refills within six months. Which dosage form is designed to release a drug slowly over time? A. Elixir. B. Immediate release tablet. C. Extended release capsule. D. Suppository. Answer, C. Extended release formulations allow gradual drug delivery, reducing dosing frequency. Which law requires drug utilization review, DUR, and patient counseling by pharmacists? A. Durham-Humphrey Amendment. B. Kefauver-Harris Amendment. C. OBRA 90. D. Controlled Substances Act. Answer, C. OBRA 90 requires DUR and mandates pharmacists to counsel Medicaid patients, setting the standard for counseling. Which auxiliary label is most appropriate for metronidazole? A. May cause drowsiness. B. Do not drink alcohol. C. Take with milk. D. Protect from light. Answer, B. Metronidazole interacts dangerously with alcohol causing nausea, flushing, and rapid heartbeat. Which part of the NDC, National Drug Code, identifies the manufacturer? A. First segment. B. Second segment. C. Third segment. D. Fourth segment. Answer, A. The first segment of the NDC identifies the manufacturer or labeler. A patient presents with a prescription for a C2-controlled drug dated eight months ago. What should the technician do? A. Process it normally. B. Dispense half the amount. C. Refuse to fill and notify pharmacist. D. Apply for insurance override. Answer, C. Schedule 2 prescriptions must be filled within a short time frame, usually 30 days. After eight months, it is invalid. 
Which term describes a drug that increases urine output? A. Analgesic. B. Diuretic. C. Antiemetic. D. Antitussive. Answer, B. Diuretics, such as furosemide, increase urine production to manage fluid retention. Which medication should be refrigerated after reconstitution? A. Amoxicillin. B. Azithromycin. C. Ciprofloxacin. D. Tetracycline. Answer, A. Amoxicillin suspension is commonly refrigerated to maintain potency and taste stability. What does the abbreviation QS mean in compounding? A. Quantity sufficient. B. Quick supply. C. Quality standard. D. Quarter strength. Answer, A. QS stands for quantum status, quantity sufficient to achieve the desired final volume or weight. Which schedule contains drugs with accepted medical use and lowest abuse potential? A. Schedule 2. B. Schedule 3. C. Schedule 4. D. Schedule 5. Answer, D. Schedule 5 medications have accepted medical use with the least abuse potential, e.g., cough syrups with codeine. A technician must measure 2.5 milliliters of liquid medication. Which device is most accurate? A. Oral syringe. B. Household teaspoon. C. Measuring cup. D. Dropper. Answer, A. Oral syringes provide the most precise small-volume measurements, minimizing dosing errors.